Hello everyone. So welcome to another video. So this is 2021. We are all uh, coping through this pandemic right now. I hope you're well. So today we are talk about uh, latex in PowerPoint. So if you are an engineer or if you use a lot of equations in your slides or PowerPoint presentations, or if you want to create a poster uh, with a lot of equations, we know that if we could use LaTeX in PowerPoint, that would be useful because what happens in a lot of ways is that normally we actually create high resolution images and then import those images into our slides. And now that creates some, uh, some problems. So uh, these are not vector graphics uh, images, so you cannot zoom it infinitely. So one of the things that we can do um, at this point is that uh, we can actually use uh, LaTeX directly into the PowerPoint. So here I have just for uh, example, you can see that this is a matrix uh, and this is infinitely zoomable. As you can see here, we can zoom it as good as we want, as large, we can make it as large as we want. And um, you're, you're not, we are not seeing any um, uh, quality reduction or, you know, problem in the quality in zooming because this is a vector format. Uh, this is a vector graphics and I can show it to you if we want to actually ungroup this you can ungroup everything here so you can actually take this part from here and uh, you know you, you get the idea so in uh, anyways uh, what we are going to do here well I'm going to show you how to directly create uh, equations like this that you can actually zoom in and zoom out and you can actually edit them directly into the PowerPoint without uh, uh, using latex and without doing any fancy work. So the first thing we need to do a thing like this uh, is called an add-on. So um, use your Microsoft or you know your web browser and let's uh, go to Google and then the add-on that we're going to use is called Iguan Text. So uh, let us go to their website. This is the Iguana Text that we're going to use uh, for the purpose. Uh, so first we need to download the add-on and um, let us uh, show it in the folder. So. It is here. We I have already downloaded this before, so it's already here. Uh, now uh, go back to the Microsoft PowerPoint. Go to Options, and there you're gonna go to Add-ins, and here click PowerPoint Add-ins in the Manage uh, drop-down menu, and then play, uh, hit Go. And then there is no add-ons available because it's not uh, it, it, it's it's not finding any. So we're gonna click on Add New. Uh, from here, we're going to actually select the PPAM um, add-on that we just downloaded. So we click hit OK. Then we will enable Make Cross. And now, okay. So now we see here we have the Iguana text. If you look into the app. Uh, upper side of the um, PowerPoint. So let's go there. So before we can use this, we need to actually um, configure this uh, add-on. So uh, before any of this, uh, before I go into the details, let me tell you that you need to have MIGTEX or the LaTeX, uh, LaTeX distribution for Windows in your system. So for example, if I show you right now, if we so we have the MIG text here. We also have the text works. I also have uh, text studio, which is a good uh, editor for LaTeX. So with that on the way, let us configure the Iguana text um, add-on for our purpose. So uh, now uh, if we click on the main settings here, we can see uh, the things that we need to configure for this add-on. So what we need to do here is uh, first, we need to look into the absolute path. So initially you'd see C slash a temp folder, which is sometimes not, does not have the permission to write. So we need to, so I, what I did was creating a new folder in the documents called temp. And then I selected that folder for the absolute um, path for the temporary folder. 
uh, you don't have to change any of the other stuff here now in this case we are use you want to do a vector graphics format so what we need is a ghost script so here you can see there is a download button so you have to click that that will take you to the website for downloading ghost script so we can use the HTML release, which is for the, uh, I think it's the for individual free software. Uh, I am going to use the 64-bit version of this, and that will actually give you. Uh, you are you are going to download that. I have already downloaded it. So let me show you what it looks like. So after you download, um. So after you have the downloading, uh, this is the ghost script. So after you run this, you're going to go into the ghost script setup. So you don't have to do anything. I've already downloaded this, so you don't have to do, uh, I don't have to reinstall it or anything. So uh, for your case, uh, go to with the default settings and download, uh, uh, install the ghost script, excuse me uh for your computer uh for now i'm not going to do anything uh so let's uh, go back so after you have installed ghost script what you need to do you need to actually select the gs win 64c executable file so here you go to uh your operating system program files gs so let me show you how to do that you, you want to find gs then you know go to bin folder and then you have seen two file, two executables here one is gs win 64 another is gs win 64 c so you want to select the c um then uh the next we need image magic so that's another software so if you click on the download button here we have the software so we want to go to the binary release for the windows and you want to, you uh, want to actually install so what i installed is uh this one which is the q16 uh, x64 dll dot executable i have already actually downloaded it before so i'm going to show you to you here here is that software that uh from uh the image magic installer so if you double click on the installer you are going to show that you know you are going you will gonna go through with this installation procedure and install image magic into your system so i'm not i'm not gonna do this again because i've already done this before so um so after you have installed that um here you want to find so uh, what the system would like you to find is something called convert.exe which is a convert executable but the interesting thing is the image magic after the seventh generation uh, the convert exe be has become magic exe so uh it is going to be on your program files inside where you install the image magic files so you want to select the magic.exe and that is going to be your path for image magics convert next we want to have uh the external editor command so i'm going to be using text studio which i have already installed if you don't have it you can select the text works which it has which comes with the existing uh make text uh installation so you can uh, select that uh secondly we need text to image c which is a vector output. this is very important for us because we want to output uh, our equation as vectors so you want to go to the download uh, this will actually give you the zip folder i've already downloaded this, this is a zip file by the way so uh, let me show you um i have this here uh after you download the zip file and extract a zip file contains inside that zip file so uh, you'll get text to image 2.1.0 so here you are going to have all the necessary files here but before we want to set anything you need to double click on text to image executable this is the only time you have to do this uh, this will give you this uh, uh, 
console like window here so you're gonna click generate uh, will not do anything so that's fine it says that uh, fail to generate image that is all completely file uh, fine uh, the goal was to actually set the path a necessary path for this text to image program to work because when we cl clicked on the generate button it actually you know set those paths for us so we don't need to actually worry about anything else so that's fine now what we need to do you need to actually find that uh, executable so we're not going to select the text to image.exe but we are going to select text to image exe text to imgc.exe so this is the one you need to select not this one but this one you have to be uh, careful for this so after you select everything here uh, we'll click ok and now let us create a new equation here so it's going to be So here is the simple equation that I'm going to show you how it works. So we are go we are not changing this to anything else. Latex diva is fine. We are going to instead of bitmap, we are going to select vector. So is if everything works correctly, if we click the generate button, we will see that uh, we'll get um, here. We can see that we created that equation and you can zoom it as much as you can want uh, and that would be fine you're not gonna lose the information here uh, by zooming in on the equation so also if you want you can actually ungroup this and now you can see this we have uh, you know we can have a con complete control over the equation if you, if you want to do that by yourself uh, this is very handy if you, you know you know quickly you know change anything uh, remove any unwanted equation from uh, unwanted symbol or you know want to change the equation very quickly you can actually do this by ungrouping and you know you can just remove this and that's your x so yeah that's how you can actually create your own um equation uh, 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 vector in vector graphics format using LaTeX in the PowerPoint I need to mention that this uh, this is very powerful you can actually put I mean I put a lot of things in here this is actually a real LaTeX editor this will act as a LaTeX uh, compiler so you can actually put even a document and it will actually print out the document for you uh, in the vector format the only thing uh i'm not sure if you can actually use include graphics here uh, which is not important because you actually can copy and paste images inside your uh powerpoint anytime by dragging the figures so that's not a big issue so other than that if you want to write anything uh, i mean this is going to be uh, very helpful for you and uh yeah i just wanted to know uh, how to do this um thanks for watching and uh i'll see you next time uh, if you find this helpful uh please uh like and subscribe to my channel i'm gonna come with a lot of new videos uh maybe potentially something that will be useful to you uh in the future so until then um thank you so much